In this tutorial we're going to talk about creating a navigation menu for your Google site. So in previously I've already made three pages that should be part of my navigation. But if you look on the left hand side of my screen under the navigation heading, <clears throat> the only page that is currently showing up is the home page and then one that Google's already created called the sitemap page. But if you look down here under recent site activity, you can see the three pages that I made as well. I'm now ready to incorporate those three pages into my navigation. To do this, I have to come down to the link at the bottom of the left-hand side of the screen that tells me to edit the sidebar. Let's do that. Okay, as we come in then and we look at the um, edit sidebar option, it takes us to a page where we can look at the appearance of our Google site. And this allows us to change our layout. Look over here as I scroll down at the sidebar there's the header called navigation and if I want to add those pages I'm going to click the edit option so that I can go through and edit those pages. Now Google Sites currently only recognizes the two links that are currently there home and sitemap but I have those three other pages that I made that I want to add to this as well so I'll click add page to sidebar navigation and you can see it now recognizes the other three pages that I created in addition to the ones that were previously made. So I'm going to go through and add these. So let's say I want to add the reflective journal first. Okay. So I select that and then say okay. Unfortunately I have to do them one at a time, but I'll just go through quickly and do the same steps by adding the page to sidebar navigation, selecting the page and clicking OK. Now you can see that I've got my navigation. If I want to maneuver these pages around, I just need, simply need to click and select the page and then on the right hand side of this configure navigation window, I'll just use the arrow keys to drop that down. So right now, maybe that's how I want my page to look. I want the reflective journal, the lesson plans, and the about me above the sitemap. That looks pretty good, so I'm going to say OK to that. And as I come back to the appearance page here, I need to save those changes to make sure that that works. So I'll just click Save Changes and now if we return back to the site you'll see that my navigation reflects all of those pages. I hope that's been helpful for you as you start to build your own navigation throughout your site. This will definitely turn your Google site from being a web page into being a website. Thanks for watching.